Alright, so I'm back at it again. I'm going to try something new. Now, I have been doing the washing yeast method uh, for a number of years with good success. I've got a video on that. We did a chop and brew on that. Um, but there's a new thing that I've heard about that instead of making a beer, fermenting it, and then collecting the yeast, you make a yeast starter and you over uh, create a greater amount on the on the initial time. So for example, uh, today I have a new smack pack. So you make a larger yeast starter, ferment it out, but then on brew day you pour some of that yeast starter that's already fermented in the larger size Let's say you normally want a one liter starter, you make a liter and a half. You pour half a liter into a, a container, a sanitized container, you put that in the fridge, and then you use that to make your next yeast starter. So it's a new technique, it's new to me. There are a lot of people that do it this way, so I thought I would give it a try. I would make a couple videos. So here I am on yeast starter day. I was trying to get a liter and a half. And as you can see from this top, this top black line, that's my liter and a half mark. So I, I came in pretty close. Uh, I might top it off with water once I dump in the yeast. I'll see if that brings it, you know, right up there. It's basically there, so I could, you know, save this much on brew day, which I'll do a video of that. I was aiming for somewhere in the 1040 to 1050 range. It looks like I got about 1044, so that's also good. So that's going to be it for today. I'll do another video maybe of collecting the yeast amount and then I'll, after it's all settled it'll be fun to see what I collected. Other than that, it's a pretty simple idea. We'll just see if it's... Some people think it's easier. I'm not really sure. There's a little bit of monkeying around to get more, um, you know, wort produced this way. Uh, not really that big of a deal. It's a little more to cool down. Um, of course, washing the yeast is also a bit of a process, but I'm used to that, so it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, I'm just throwing it out there. You guys can see what you think, and I'll catch you in a couple of days. All right, I have Jake assisting me here. Hello, Jake. Hey. He brought over some yummy beers. I have a 1.5 liter starter. We're going to pour it into here. Tell me when. Well, fill it up to the bottom of those kind of threaded parts. Yeah, that's probably good. I think there may be a line on here of ounces. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I'll put the lid on that and we'll check back on it in a number of days and see what it looks like. It has been five days since I poured this, since uh, Jake poured this into this pint jar. And as you can see, it's the wort the, has cleared pretty well. I found the color kind of interesting. I mean it was a low gravity starter but um, now that everything's settled out it is kind of a real light colored uh, wort. And then also you can see the amount that I got. Here's a quarter for comparison and it's, it's pretty pretty clear looking, pretty clean uh, white looking yeast. Basically, there's not a lot to show in this whole process. I've shown it. It's an idea that you can certainly try if you like spreading the life of your yeast over several batches. It's something to, to give a try. Uh, the next time that I want to brew, which probably won't be for another couple weeks, I suppose, I'll, I'll make a starter out of this and I'll probably do the same thing. And I'll probably do this. I have uh, two more batches that I want to do with this same yeast and I'll see how it goes. I'm not anticipating any problems but just want to throw that out there as another way to spread your yeast and try it if you like. Feel free to comment and we'll catch you later.
five on a lonely Friday night. She was standing by the bar and she was looking alright. I asked her if she wanted to dance and she said that all she wanted was a good man and wanted to know if I thought that I was qualified. 